Right, well I haven't done one of these with you before. This is the customer requires me to supply ready optimised an Allen 48 Plus. So this brand new Allen 48 Plus has appeared from the wholesaler and we are going to optimise it. Well at least it should work. Let's see what rubbish you get in this package. Oh look, you get a silly sticker. Right, I'll connect this up and we'll see what happens. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is to set, this is one of these multiband sets. So it says in the instruction book here, which I've had to dig out, while switching the radio on, press the AM, FM and the scan button. So that's the AM, FM and that's the scan button on the bottom there. So we'll do that. Oh, yes, it does. It looks like it's kind of gone into some reset mode. So we'll just dial now in UK. And there's UK. And then you press the AMF button to put that into the memory. And we'll just make sure that it really is. And it really is. Good. Okay, well this is going to be a bit harder than I was anticipating because uh, the circuit diagram I thought was correct for it is for a Schedule 1 version and this brand new one is in fact what? Schedule 5 Yeah of where it says February 2011 it says revision 5 so our circuit is absolutely no good whatsoever so it's uh, have a look at the way this is it's quite a big difference between this and I've got I'll tell you what I've got one in from Germany for a repair which is a CPT only set and when you compare this one which uses conventional components same front same kind of layout, but uh, totally different works. It goes to show how they do evolve, even with the same model numbers. Well, I've worked out from this that we're looking at the first uh, coil for optimization for transmit. Obviously, the VCO is going to be set. It's a new, it's a new radio, and the VCO is clearly that coil there. And the there is a VCO test point, but you know I would need the service manual, the proper service manual to to do that. So L three O two appears to be the first um, one for transmit, and I would expect it's going to be that. I would think we're going that 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 and the one in that can to be honest. So we're going to go into transmit. Let's see what it's doing. It's currently doing exactly three watts. But wait a minute. It's not on channel 20. It's an up-down mic. So I'll just whip up the channels to channel 20. Frequency should be 27.79125. It's 27.79124. Excellent, still doing 3 watts, so we'll just see how we go with this. So we're going to go for L302. L301. 401A, I mean. F uh, 402A. And the one under the shield, whatever it is. Set 
the tool's not going to go down there. Right, I'll pause the video while I get a different set of tools out. I've got a longer reach plastic one. Okay, so using the uh, Farnell 3125063 uh, um, trimming tool, and I've selected that one, we can now reach that one in the corner. Just backtrack on that one. And there's going to be an automatic power control somewhere. Now we're going to have, you see, I don't know what any of these presets are. This is one of the snags when you never seen one of these before. I'm making notes as we go. So I know what I'm doing next time, but this isn't next time. This is first time. I've got RV802 and I've got RV801. Now I'm expecting there to be an automatic power control um, thing on a uh, adjustment on a set like this. I'm expecting RV501 down there to be deviation, and then we've got 802902 down there, and 901 over there. Now one of them is going to be AM mod. I don't really want to knock that out, although I can reset it because the test equipment does do AM. So what do we go for? You know, it's a matter of looking at the circuit and um, taking an educated guess. One of those is going to be power meter. And one of them is going to be power itself. Okay, so what I've found is that RV802 is the RF meter. And I've found that RV501 is the power regulator control and that has now brought us up to three and a half watts and that's it folks now three and a half watts on here could easily be five good buddy watts so um, that's nothing to worry about right we'll go for the deviation and I'm sure that that is RV301 so let's hope I'm not proved wrong Get my oscillator out. Switch the camera on. Look at the right hand oscilloscope there. We've got one and a half, one point eight deviation. So I think we're on I'll just move this so you can see. RV 301 I believe is going to be deviation and I'm right that brings us up to two and a half I'll just check that with the whistle test <whistles> Wallo. it's just slightly over I'll just knock it back a fraction <whistles> Wallo. that's it Right, well that's optimised to transmit, and that's where we'll leave it on this video, and, and uh, we'll do one for the receive, see how that performs.